Hello everyone, it's Lottie from Cancer is a Lifestyle. How is everyone holding up this week, huh? Hopefully it's going to end up being a good, better week than what we've been uh, kind of um, dealing with lately, huh? And uh, <laughs> I know it's nothing to laugh at, you know, in fact the whole world went crazy. But anyway, I've been trying to focus on my attention on finishing a lot of these projects that I've been, uh, you know, working on. And uh, I've been cutting up more Plarn. Yep. Uh, I've been working on my Hat Not Hate campaign, all blue hats. And I think I got about four done already. And I still got a lot more blue. So, And I definitely have to get started on my baby blankets. I believe that I'm going to have three. And they're all boys, I think. So it's the year of the boys you guys so yeah a lot of baby blankets and then I have also a um, afghan that I need to make for someone as a thank you for all her um, delivery uh, all, all the delivery times uh, that she has done for this ministry um, I really appreciate her taking out time I mean we've been doing this for six years she's done it for a good five um, out of her own goodness of her heart and um, she started actually because she wanted to teach her two children in, um, about serving. And, uh, and they would actually help her carry it in. And they love doing it. So I wanted to make her a blanket also as a thank you. And of course, what do you think she picks as the color? The uh, Super Saver Ombre in the Teal. The Deep Teal. Everybody loves that Deep Teal. It's like they love it. They, you know... And also my other, my last 12 cast on project, the uh, vintage ripple, uh, the ripple vintage, ripple rectangular uh, shawl for my daughter-in-law. She really did love it. And I, I wish I could show you a picture of it, of her with her super blonde hair. It looks really great on her, but um, I don't have anything. So today I am, I finished another project of the 12 cast ons. I do not know if I'm going to be starting anymore I don't think I'm gonna I'm gonna um, work on any more of the 12 cast ons until I am actually done with the three baby blankets and the Afghan and the hat not hate campaign I need to get those things out of the way uh, the 12 cast on project was started by Angela on yarn and yarns uh, she is actually located in England I love watching her she is a, a yarn shop owner uh, love watching her and she does spinning she does weaving she does um, knitting crocheting I mean what doesn't she do honestly but she starts she does this every year in December she chooses 12 cast ons that she does and hopefully for the year and um, sometimes they don't work out sometimes they do I had to uh, uh, throw one of mine and do something else because it just wasn't coming out uh, so this is the very first one, my day one that I started, and it was a poncho for my daughter, and I believe this is the a bag of days herringbone, double herringbone poncho that she had, and this was my day one, and I used the Karen Latte Cakes for this in the shades of purple, the so different shades. I believe one of them now let me show you because they I think I color coded them pretty well I mean I combined uh, three different cakes because of course these uh, latte cakes go for like ten dollars they're not cheap and I I bought them on sale so I only bought like one of every color and um, and I tried to combine them so they were kind of um, look like it's one cake <laughs> one type so there it is, and I think I did a pretty good job of it. Um, and here's the other side because it's I think it kind of makes a difference at how it went. And of course, you can wear it this way too, which then it comes out evenly. And what I did, and I believe one is the one on the bottom here that you see with the blues, hints of blues in there. That one excuse me, is called the Rose Scented uh, Karen Latte Cake. And the other one in the middle, I believe, the all purple, I think that's mulberry. The all purple here, I think that's all, that's mulberry, wineberry, wine. 
one of them is mulberry and I think it might be the the top but anyway I think they blend in really well I think it came out really nice I did do a little alteration to this um, poncho let me see I can back up so you can see better um, because it was the the poncho was like a diamond the pointy corners in each way um, it was coming out uh, where it was like up to here on, on the thing now I my daughter's five six I wanted it to be used more for like an outdoor poncho and in between the cold weather spells you know so she could wear it as a you know as a for those days where it's a little chilly like in the fall or in the spring so I want it to be longer I want it to cover her arm more so what I ended up doing is on the bottom you guys I didn't want it to be as pointy so I kind of altered it and the last couple stitches I actually did them in double uh, double crochets instead of the double herringbone and when it came time to the uh, corner I only single crocheted so you see it's not as pointy it's just a curve and I wanted it that way so it would be longer more like a, a, a cape poncho where she could wear it uh, as a cover and not just as a decorative like a lot of uh, people wear ponchos so I, I do love this yarn you guys you I look at the texture of it it is very lightweight even though it looks very heavy but it's lightweight and it just glides on your hook it just glides it is really beautiful to work with it feels like cashmere to me it reminds me of the cashmere I love it I think a blanket in this with this yarn is going to be spectacular do you see the little fuzziness uh, just really comfortable and just luxurious feel I love the lot I see now why they cost the ten dollars a cake I mean you know you pay what you you know you get what you pay for but I love how it came out I think it all kind of came out color combination together it combined the three came out looking good I think and it actually looks maybe like you know doesn't look too much like I use several cakes so on me of course it's like because I'm not even 5'2 but on her it's just and it's so soft you guys I love this I could actually see making a cardigan or some kind of a a vest or something in this yarn is just so luxurious I love it so anyway it's done it was the very first one that I started and probably out of all of them all the projects that I begun because you had to start them right you casted them on and some of them you only cast it on this much and but this one it was my very first one I've wanted to always make a poncho and um, and of course this is the bag o days version I love her uh, because it's just so much easier for me to understand uh, hers better and uh, and I also you know there's three that I actually watch regularly for any of the two tutorials that they do I watch creative grandma and I watch bag day and I watch um, Coco Bella is that her name I, I do a lot of hers too uh, so I always check those ladies if I want to see something um, I actually want to do more garments now that I, f I feel more confident you know so I like I said I was, I was telling Angela the other day when she commented that I really am enjoying this I feel like I owe her a lot for um, inspiring me to kind of go out of my comfort level more and try out different things that maybe I, I thought I couldn't do before and that's only all thanks to her where she um, just inspired me to do so so the next year's projects I'm already thinking about I think this is like my seventh one done out of the it's either the sixth or the seventh out of the 12 that is that are done and uh, but also the other five or six that I have are basically really larger projects so there are it's gonna take me longer so yeah so I'm actually thinking of doing more garments in uh, for my next 12 cast ons I'm really really loving this and I, I just am excited about her wearing it and uh, yeah, so luxurious you guys 
So anyway, there it is. And I hope you guys uh, have a wonderful day. And thank you so much for watching and joining me today. And another 12 cast on project finished. Now who knows when the next one will be done. Not, not anytime soon, that's for sure. Okay, bye-bye everyone.